And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning, Eastern Idaho and Western Wyoming. We can't escape the snow out there. We're getting a live look out across Idaho Falls right now. Again, very slick roadways out there for this morning. Give yourself plenty of extra travel time. We don't want any accidents to start off the new work week. Taking a look, there is a winter weather advisory continuing to be in effect through 11 o'clock this morning. This includes the Snake River Plain, parts of the Central Mountains, and also the western half of Wyoming. Total snowfall between about one to three inches of snow. I think most of the snow across the Snake River Plain has already tapered off. A winter storm warning continues for some of the higher terrain across the eastern Snake Highlands, also the Central Mountains. This is until 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Some areas have seen well over a foot in those mountains and anywhere from about 3 to 18 inches of more snow is expected through tomorrow evening. Storm tracker radar showing that band of moisture that did shift eastward. Again, most of us across the Snake River Plain are dry this morning, lingering snow showers across the southeast highlands. And I think for the most part throughout the day we will stay dry we'll see a few peaks of sunshine with more clouds building in for this afternoon and again lots of wind out there for today as well temperatures this morning right above average for this time of year mainly in the 20s across the snake river plain teens for some of the higher terrain again all the clouds and all the moisture out there keeping temperatures a bit warmer the winds though very windy out there for this morning look at the snake river plain 23 mile per hour wind speeds across pocatello 25 mile per hour wind speeds in idaho falls that's what's causing the blowing and drifting snow. We could see gusts much higher than that, and it'll stay that way at least throughout the afternoon. Storm tracker, satellite, and radar again. Lots of clouds out there for this morning, but notice, quick shot of moisture. It is moving eastward. There's our clearing out to the west, so finally we'll see some sunshine as we start off during the middle half of the morning, but I do think more clouds build in for the afternoon hours. High temperature is very seasonal for this time of year, mainly in the 20s across the Snake River Plain, 30s across American Falls and Pocatello. But more snow will be on the way later on tonight into tomorrow morning's commute as well. Let's time it out. 12 o'clock today, again, that sunshine that I mentioned, the snow showers continuing across the eastern Snake Highlands, also the western half of Wyoming. By about 4 o'clock, clouds start to build in, and then we'll start to see some snow showers later on this evening across the southeast Highlands, the western half of Wyoming. And then it moves through the Snake River Plain. Notice for the overnight, right around midnight, we're starting to see the steadier snow, and that continues into tomorrow morning by about 5 o'clock. So tomorrow morning's commute, very similar to what you're seeing out there for this morning as well. And those temperatures for tomorrow morning, very similar teens and 20s for eastern Idaho. Your, your southeast Idaho Chevy dealers, seven-day forecast, leaves us with a windy start to the work week. Morning snow showers, we'll see some sunshine, more clouds building in for this afternoon, high temperature of 30 degrees. For the Tuesday time frame for Pocatello, windy and also some snow for tomorrow morning. Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, a few snow showers for this morning windy as well it will be windy tomorrow and it looks like we'll get a break from the winds on wednesday with a mostly cloudy sky for the teton area jackson afton and driggs snow likely today tomorrow a few lingering snow showers on wednesday more snow for thursday and across the central mountains expect a few snow showers today and snow on the way for tomorrow